Hello, it's time to place some dominoes. Let's play pips. We'll start with the easy puzzle as usual. Okay. Um, we need a two that goes in there, three that goes in there. Um, let's see. Oh, and an equivalence, which will be two threes. Okay, that's that's good to know. So then we'll need the three two here in that case. Uh, the four must go in the void because it'll break anything else. So that must go there. And then three one here and three zero here. There we go. Okay, that took some more thinking than, a, than an easy puzzle sometimes uh, did, but it was nice and straightforward in the end. We'll go into the medium. Let's start solving. Okay, what's going on here? We have a two pointing into a nine. Right, so the two must connect to something no smaller than a three. Actually, we don't have any sixes, so we couldn't even make the nine with three six. So it must point to a four or higher. Does that constrain things? Indeed it does. So the two connects to a five, which means the rest of the nine is a four, pointing into something of which there are two, which could be a three, but not the other four. Because, oh, no, 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 never mind. No, we could, sorry. This double four could go here, then we could have a four three here. Actually, then we could have a three one. This might well be correct. Um, then, no, 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 it still could be. Look at this, it probably is. Because then the five can be made up of five zero. We'll have and twos and threes to finish our equivalence regions. Right. Yep. All right, well, that, that, that was surprising. There we go. That was the medium puzzle. Let's play the hard one. Okay, what do we have going on here? We have two four-sized equivalence regions. Those will be comprised of what? Zeros, ones, or twos. Zeros, ones, or twos only. Zeros and ones. It can't be both zeros and ones. Because that would kill our... If it, oh no, we have five ones. And five, five zeros. Okay, I was going to say that would kill our... Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Okay, both of our one regions will need a zero one. Right, okay. I was going to say we could still make a one region with a zero one and we do have an extra zero and one. Okay, that does mean... What does that mean exactly? Well, the zeros can't be in the equivalence regions no matter what. If the one, if if our one, if we fill either equivalence region with a one, I think that does still break the puzzle. Oh no, sorry, I've done it again. I was thinking that's impossible, and it is impossible because we have six ones. I, I need to stop miscounting things. That's such a source of destruction in this game. Okay, so um, yes, all of our ones are spoken for between one of the two four-sized equivalence regions and the two two-sized one regions. Those are all of the ones, definitely. The other uh, equivalence region, now we can't put zeros in them because that will genuinely have that problem. If we put zeros in them, we do for sure only have five zeros, which doesn't leave us enough to make both one regions right. So our four-sized equivalence regions are ones, and twos. I think of that we can be certain, which I think then we have a three-sized equivalence region and a two-sized. Okay. We also have this four. The four can only connect to a one or a zero. All of our ones are spoken for because we have four in the four sized regions and then two in the one regions of size two. So the ones are completely spoken for. Wait a second, we have six zeros as well. I can't believe I've done this again. Sorry, we have six zeros. I really did it again immediately. Okay, okay. I just have no idea what I'm doing clearly here in terms of counting things. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, is it is this possible?
this would have to be, no, I was going to say this would have to be zero two, but it could be zero three as well. I mean, I'm really just kind of going out on a limb here, just trying something. I just, no, this wouldn't work. This wouldn't work. Actually, this wouldn't work either. That's interesting. Unless we put the two, two here, that would be the only way to make that work. Then we'd need this, but then, th then this wouldn't work. Okay. Huh. Interesting. And so I think, I think, I think it doesn't work. So is that, is that right? What I just said, that might not be right. No, I don't think what I said was correct. No, because we could do this. Sorry, sorry. We could do this. This would work. That would work. Then, what would the other equivalence region have to be? It would have to be ones. No, but that doesn't work. Because we'd need a double one in it somewhere. But we'd also need one of our ones to go up into here, which would also require that. Okay, so what does that tell me? What does that tell me? Does that mean a one can never be in our four-sized equivalence region? Is that what that says? Because we'll always need, how do I clear this? We'll always need the four-sized equivalence region to have a double of something. And the, and the ones are completely spoken for. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have exactly six of them. So we have exactly the number we need. No, I don't, I don't think it necessarily means that. It doesn't. It doesn't intrinsically anyway. It does mean it couldn't be down here, though, I think. Is that true? No. Uh, yeah, well... What if we put this this way? Now this could in theory still work because then we ones could be pointing out everywhere and that would still be fine. I don't know if it, I don't know if this necessarily does work in practice, but I mean, it, it, it works in theory. Then we have a one, three, then we could have ones pointing into the four like this. I, again, I don't know if this specifically works, but I think it would have to be something like this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to answer in my own mind whether ones can be used in the four-sized equivalence regions, but it seems as though it can be. Although, I don't know if this... I think this might then... I don't think there's any way to make this individual four region at this point. I think I would have needed this thing still. because now I don't see any way to make this other equivalence region, which, which would have to be made up of twos. Yeah, I think I'd have to make the four out of something else. Is there anything I could make it of? It'd have to be made out of two, two, or three, three, one, but I don't think either of those is possible now either. I think this does break if you put ones in here. I don't think there's actually any way to finish this that is compatible with the rest of the puzzle. I think this is what I tried before. No, that's not what I tried before. Does this work then? No, because now there isn't anything to make this equivalence region out of. The only thing is twos, but there's no way to connect those to the four in a way that works. That is important, actually. There's no two four domino anywhere. Yeah, I think we maybe can't put ones in the equivalence region. So I think they're, they're twos and zeros. I hope what I've said is not wrong. So if that's true, I think we can't put the twos up here because there is no two four. So I think the twos would have to be down here. I don't know which way this would go, but, but somewhere. Which I guess means the zeros go up here and then we'd need a zero four here. I guess this is correct. Is it, I, hope, I, hope, um, I hope my conclusions so far have not been, you know, the result of some oversight. So then is it what, is it the ones that go in the three region? We've got zeros and twos in the four. 
could be threes or ones in the equivalence region. I mean, threes are kind of what we have, you know, they feel like we've got more wiggle room around. Oh, no, 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 the ones. Hmm. Um, actually, this doesn't work either. What are we doing here? One, three, and zero, three. So then this would have to be twos down here in some, in some disposition. I'm not sure which yet. Then we could make the four out of two twos. No, 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 we can't. We don't have enough twos for that. Could we make it out of three one? I don't see how that's possible. Um, move that around. No, that wouldn't work. No, that wouldn't work either. Hmm. I feel I must be missing some obvious thing. Oh, greater than five. I haven't been thinking about that at all. Maybe I should be thinking about that. I think I just sort of, I think I maybe read that as less than five and that seemed like it wasn't a big deal. But we can't make that with a single domino. That's really important just in the sense of grid geometry. It's not very easy to make with what we have. It could be a 4-3 or a 4-2 or a double three. I think double three would be hard because we're already using so many repeated things. I bet it'll end up being 4-2. You know, something like this. If that were true, this would have to be that. No. Well, no, that, that's possible with the ones. We need six ones. No, but it can't be that. No, it can't be that either, actually. Huh. What about four two with zeros? Hmm. Actually, well, yeah, then we need a zero. This could be like a zero one and a one three or something like that. There, there's another way to do this as well. Then we would need twos up here. No, that doesn't work because we don't have a two four. Right, this would have to be ones, but that's not... That's not possible. We, oh, we've used too many ones. We've used too many ones. This would have to be twos, but it can't be, can it? Because we don't have a two zero, we've already used it. Maybe this is a four three. So this four needs to be used. That would require, yeah, anytime we've used the four, it dictates what goes on over here. That is something I've not been considering consciously enough. Oh, this works. Oh, the four is... Okay, that was not a great solve. I did make it in the end. Right, that was really interesting. Um, yeah, I kind of got, I kind of, I, I honestly sort of forget my path through this. Um, I think I made a few good inferences, but I kind of lost track of things at a certain point. And I don't really think I concluded this in a very elegant way. It's a really good, interesting puzzle. 
a lot of give and take between the two sort of islands. I just didn't, I, I, I should have been thinking about the greater than five much, much, much earlier because these, these dominoes in general were skewed so low. That actually was much more constraining. I just didn't think about it because these other ones seemed more precise. Okay, well, there we go. That's a lesson learned. Those, those, those were the pips. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.